ride quality and brakes. The handling fails to impress. Granted the incredibly bumpy and inconsistently surfaced roads we tested the bike on in northern Italy would put most suspension through its paces. But I'd like to know what the front end was doing while cornering. As we rode the bikes, I never had any idea what was going on. The front end felt distant and failed to instill any confidence. The low seat is incredibly plush though. The brakes feel incredibly spongy for most of the travel on the front lever. Only biting when the lever is almost touching my other knuckles. The brake lever is span adjustable, but I found it almost impossible to feel any difference between the four settings. Engine. There's a severe lack of power from the 500cc parallel twin, which combined with that 235kg weight, just 9kg less than a BMW R1200GS exclusive fee, is really noticeable. The bike makes 47 bhp so it's A2 license friendly, but it coughs and wheezes as it struggles to pull the hefty machine. There's no character or power band either, just a huge spread of not very much power trying its best to pull a lot of weight, overtakes have to be planned meticulously, and can only be performed when you're absolutely certain you have enough room, build quality and reliability. Benelli's partnership with the Chinese group Qianjiang is still relatively new, so reliability hasn't quite been tested yet. Although we're not aware of any major problems, it should be noted that one of the bikes on the launch